What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to Alexis McAllister Day here on Anfield Agenda. It has finally been confirmed. Alexis McAllister is a Liverpool football club player, signing from Brighton and Hove Albion for an initial fee of £35 million, rising to potentially £55 million with add-ons. It is an absolute bargain. And it's finally happened. What is up, my friends? I hope that you're all well. It's a pleasure to be here with you today on what is Alexis McAllister Day. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Liverpool's new number 10. If you haven't dropped a like on the video yet, please do. And of course, hit that subscribe button. It's finally happened. We can relax, we can calm down, and we can look ahead to who else comes through the transfer window door. It has happened. You can see the images on the screen there now. Alexis McAllister is officially a Liverpool football club player. It is a deal that we've known about for a while, but it is now official, confirmed. He is Liverpool's number 10. And I'm going to take you through some comments and thoughts from the player, from Jurgen Klopp, from the media, and of course a few from myself as well. And uh, you can see those images on the screen. I think he looks really well in the Liverpool Football Club shirt, just like he was meant to be here. And I remember my first ever time seeing Alexis McAllister. I was watching Argentina late one night. It was either a World Cup qualifier or it was in a Copa America or something like that. And I remember watching and he came on as a substitute. And I remember thinking to myself, who's this ginger kid coming on for Argentina called McAllister? Bit of a weird one. Did not expect to see him in an Argentina shirt, but I kind of followed his career from that point. Um, and he has been an absolute whirlwind in the Premier League. It's a bargain, the fee that we paid for him. He can play in a host of positions in midfield. He can play in the 8, he can play in the 10. I think he even said himself he could possibly even play in the 6 if needed be. And that's the type of versatility that we needed. Add into that his robustness in midfield, his Genie Wijnaldum-esque ability to play 30, 40 games a season. And I think we've got ourselves a damn fine footballer. So let's see what Alexis McAllister himself has had to say about the move from Liverpool Football Club. He said, since I won the World Cup, he did it single-handedly, by the way. Just a little fella called Messi may have played a little bit, but we all know it was Alexis's World Cup. Uh, I said that I want to win more trophies, and I think this club will help me do that. It will, Alexis. And we'll start off with the Europa League, mate, in Dublin next season, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, he is Irish, by the way. I'm not going to drop this one. I know he's Argentinian, but he's Irish. I think we can all agree on that one. It feels amazing. It's a dream come true. It's amazing to be here, and I can't wait to get started. We can't wait for you to get started as well Alexis and it's always lovely to see a player look so happy when he signs for the football club isn't it as you can see in all the images on the screen he just looks like a happy dude he looks like he really wants to be here and uh, there was a piece from Paul Joyce that said the cut price nature of this transfer provides Liverpool with the flexibility to pursue other targets in midfield and defence which is what we want to hear we need to go out and get in two more midfielders a centre back possibly a full back but 35 million, I know I've mentioned it a lot since we started this video, but 35 million pound for a World Cup winner, it's a bargain. And I know it'll go up to 55 million if add-ons are met, but if add-ons are met, as I always say, that means we're doing something right. That means he's doing something right. And that means that we're headed in the right direction. Uh, again, sticking with Paul Joyce, he said, there was late movement from Chelsea. Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Todd, look at me, mate. You can't have all the toys. You have to share the toys, Todd. You can't have them all. I know you're used to having them all, but you can't have our Alexis. Anyway, apologies. We'll get back to Paul Joyce. He said, the late move, there was late movement from Chelsea before the deal was completed, while Newcastle Newcastle United and Manchester United also showed interest, but McAllister's preference was that he was keen to work with Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp. Of course he was, because he's the best manager in the world. He's probably sat in Argentina, World Cup in one arm, meddling the other arm and thought, I trade all of this for a Klopp hug. Now Alexis, you can have it all. You can have your World Cup winner's medal and you can have a Jurgen Klopp hug. You peaked, mate. Life has peaked. One thing I will say, though, the image of him holding up the number 10 shirt, is it just me? Or does the McAllister in the number 10 part look very low down on that shirt? I don't know. Just a little small detail that I was looking at earlier on. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, our manager, has, of course, been speaking about the signing of Alexis McAllister. He said, we're adding a very talented, very smart, very technically skilled, very Irish. OK, I put that part in. He did mention the Irish part. Skilled boy to our squad. And this is super news. It really is. He's right. I don't care about the price on this one because if it had have been 35, 50, 60, he's the right player. 
He's a player that will absolutely thrive in our system and will do great things for Liverpool Football Club. He was offered the number eight shirt. Interesting tidbit here. He was offered the number eight shirt, but he chose to have the number 10 shirt. I'm just glad somebody finally has taken the 10. I don't like it, the fact that we didn't have a number 10 the whole of last season. But he was offered the 8 and he chose the 10. We did tell you guys over recent weeks that we expected Alexis McAllister to wear the number 10 shirt for Liverpool Football Club. And now we need to go about looking to try and fill the 8. Uh, McAllister was offered the 8, as I said. He opted to take the number 10 shirt. And here's some interesting stats about Alexis McAllister's availability and why I think he will be such a, a godsend for Jurgen Klopp in midfield. So Alexis McAllister played in 87%. Of Brighton's games last season and 83.7% the season before that. That is incredibly attractive to a manager who wants robustness in his midfield, who wants players to be available week in and week out. This makes him instantly appealing to Liverpool, who once boasted similar reliability with Genie Wenyaldum. Um there's another bit here from Paul Joyce that said the fact McAllister became the priority over alternatives such as Chelsea's Mason Mount underscores the expectation that he can and will make an immediate impact. Now, again, I can't speak for you guys at home, but if you gave me the option of either signing Alexis McAllister or Mason Mount, I know very well which one I'd be taking, and it's Liverpool's new number 10. Nothing against Mason Mount, but he isn't up to the calibre, in my opinion, of Alexis McAllister. So... That is where we are at with Liverpool's new signing. We finally got the media stuff. We finally got the numbers. We finally got the confirmation that Alexis McAllister is Liverpool's new number 10. But that doesn't finish our summer transfer window. There's still a long way to go. And I have a few little bits to leave you with before we have another video tonight where I'll give you an update on the targets like Manu Kone, Kefren Thuram and a couple of others. But Fabrizio has been speaking about Liverpool's interest in them and not to hijack Alexis's welcome video, but just to give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a taste of what might be to come. Liverpool have scheduled a round of talks with Manu Kone and Kefren Thuram's agents. No bid submitted yet, but both players remain on the list add to that that Neil Jones was speaking I believe with Redmen TV and he said I wouldn't be surprised to see Liverpool go hard for Thuram and or Kone in the coming weeks now again once Neil Jones did say he wouldn't expect Liverpool to sign both in fact he'd be surprised if they signed both but even if it's one or the other for me my prefram would be my prefram I think you can get where I'm going with this my prefram would be Thuram there you go finally got it so yeah, I'd be delighted, but look, it is great news. One's through the door. The window officially opens on June the 14th, so I guess technically we've acted early. So I'm excited to see what happens over the coming weeks. But of course, I will be back tonight with another transfer news roundup, giving you a few more bits on Liverpool's uh, signing of Alexis McAllister and looking ahead to what looks to be a busy summer transfer window for Jurgen Klopp and the Reds. It's over to you now, my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. We're heading towards 175,000 subscribers. Wouldn't do it without your help. Talk to you soon. Much love, and happy Alexis Day.